All right, here's a picture from your book. What in the world have we got here? Well, we don't need to look at the whole thing, but uh, we certainly recognize some things in here, I'm sure. And that is, uh, here we have a whole bunch of boxes joined together. And what do those boxes represent? They represent amino acids. And so we do know that a protein is a bunch of amino acids joined together. And uh, in fact is that uh, they're put together in a certain very specific order. What level of protein structure is that called? The correct amino acid sequence that we see here. The lowest level, right? The primary level of protein structure is the uh, correct amino acid sequence. And we also remember how many amino acids, how many different amino acids there are. Oh, there's a list right there in your book. How many is that? That's 20. 20 different amino acids put together in some order to form the primary structure of a protein. So let's see what we got now. We've got a DNA gene coding for a protein. And the DNA gene is made up of some combination of those four letters, the A's, T's, G's, and C's, right? Now, does it seem reasonable if those A, T's, G's, and C's code for the protein? that those same A's, T's, G's, and C's code for the amino acids in the protein? Yes. And so, the four DNA letters somehow code for how many different amino acids? 20 different amino acids. Four DNA letters, 20 amino acids. How does that work? Well, we're going to find out. Uh, not in this video, but I think the next one. All right, that's it for this one.